Welcome to a lesson by the National Ready Mixed Concrete Association. The lesson consists of a video followed by a short quiz. Hello, and welcome to another video series lesson from the National Ready Mixed Concrete Association. As you know, NRMCA's video series titled Job Site Shoot Rents Off dealt with how to manage post delivery rents off of concrete remnants on mixer truck chutes and then where to perform those activities. However, all of this concerned activities strictly performed at job sites. This lesson today, however, We'll focus on what drivers and concrete producers need to consider for mixer truck washout once a truck arrives back at the ready mix plant. Considerations shown by mixer truck driver trainers in this video will include return concrete management, portable chute rinse off management, the steps associated with mixer truck washout, and the different types of equipment companies are using to assist with mixer truck washout. So, Let's get started. A driver's main task is to wash out the drum so the accumulation and buildup of concrete adhering to the inside of the drum and its fins are reduced. Now we want to remove as much of the return concrete as possible because it helps with the drum's maintenance. Additionally, for every pound of concrete that you remove, you can carry one more pound of fresh concrete in the next day's load. As outlined in other lessons, this procedure generally starts before a driver leaves the job sites throughout the day. Rinsing off hoppers, drum blades, and chutes with about 5 to 15 gallons of water from the truck's water tank assures buildup of fresh concrete is minimized as much as possible from load to load. Now that the post-delivery chute rinse-off has occurred, it is time to return to the plant and to manage the return concrete in the drum and determining the process of washing out the drum to not only maintain the truck and drum in good condition, but possibly for making another delivery as well. Once a driver returns to the ReadyMix concrete plant after delivering a load, before the mixer truck can be washed out, there are a number of issues to consider. Is there still concrete in the drum? Is there portable chute rinse off equipment that needs to be managed? Are there company specific requirements for truck management before washing out? Depending on the answers to these questions and potentially others, will determine a driver's and the company's process once a truck returns to the plant and before it can be washed out. So, let's explore some examples. <music> 